Next question is from Kashvia Rahman. Um, I hope my voice doesn't crack now. Um, Mr. Gates, that aid uh, book by Tambisa Moyo illustrates that giving more aid in Africa over the course of the years did not elevate poverty. Instead, it kept the economy crippled with governments asking for more aid. Um, this flow made a cycle of aid giving, which resulted in nothing productive. And um, it has not been used to solve the immediate, uh, nothing except solving the immediate problems. And the money is not being used to make businesses sustainable in Africa. Um, what is the foundation's view in this regard? So it's obviously a question about whether uh, aid in Africa has had negative consequences. There's been new analysis about that. Well, it depends on your value system. Uh, you know, over the last 20 years, the number of children who die in Africa every year has been cut in half. Um, and you know, is that good or not good? It's, it's largely due to vaccines and the aid programs that have been there uh, in Africa. Uh, you know, I think that the, that book actually did damage generosity of rich world countries. Uh, you know, people have excused various cutbacks because of it. You read and the book, obviously. Did you, um, did actually, you find, yes. Did you, find anything, did you find anything in it of use? Uh, I found that uh, she didn't know much about aid and what aid was doing. And I, you know, she is an aid critic. Uh, there's not many, uh, because it's moralistically a tough position to take. <laughs> Uh, given what aid has been able to do. Uh, but uh, I, if you look objectively at what aid has been able to do, you would never accuse it of, of creating dependency. Having children not die is not creating a dependency. Having children not be so sick they can't go to school, not having enough nutrition so their brains don't, don't develop, that is not a dependency. That's an evil thing. And books like that, are, they're promoting evil. Okay, let's move on. Uh, thank you.